All right, everybody. So this is the last chapter, chapter 33 of Out of My Mind. And I'm so glad I picked this book to read with you guys. Um, not only have I wanted to cry and cheer at numerous parts in this book, but it has so much that you can learn. So if you want to comment what things you may have learned from this or talk to a family member about the book, I really think it would be a great idea. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and finish chapter 33. Fifth grade is probably pretty rocky for lots of kids. Homework, never been being quite sure if you're cool enough, clothes, parents, wanting to play with toys and wanting to be grown up all the same at the same time, underarm odor. I guess I have all that, plus about a million different layers of other stuff to deal with. Making people understand what I want, worrying about what I look like, fitting in, will a boy ever like me? Maybe I'm not so different from everyone else after all. It's like somebody gave me a puzzle, but I don't have the box with the picture on it, so I don't know what the final thing is supposed to look like. I'm not even sure if I have all the pieces. That's probably not a good comparison, since I couldn't put a puzzle together if I wanted to. Even though I usually know the answers to most of the questions at school, lots of stuff still puzzles me. Penny came home from the hospital with bumps and bruises, a cast, and a new red hat. Doodle is back in her arms. They're spoiling her run. That's okay with me. Even Butterscotch is treating Penny like she's an injured puppy. The dog has brought all her favorite stuffed toys into Penny's room like gifts. Today, I'm working on Miss Gordon's autobiography project. Mrs. V has Elvira plugged into the computer. Classical music is softly seeping from her new iPod. I hear soft purple. This is going to take a while. So much is stuffed inside my head, I have lots to say and just one thumb to say it with. I guess I'll start at the very beginning. Words. I'm surrounded by thousands of words, millions of millions. Cathedral, mayonnaise, pomegranate, Mississippi, Neapolitan, hippopotamus, silky, terrifying, iridescent, tickle, sneeze, wish, worry. Words have always swirled around me like snowflakes, each one delicate and different, each one melting, untouched in my hands. Deep within me, words pile up in huge drifts, mounds of phrases and sentences and connecting, connected ideas, clever expressions, jokes, love songs. From the time I was really little, maybe at just a few months old, words were like sweet, liquid gifts and I drank them like lemonade. I could almost taste them. They made my jumbled thoughts and feelings have substance. My parents have always blanketed me with conversation. They chatter and babble. They verbalized and vocalized. My father sang to me. My mother whispered her strength into my ear. Every word my parents spoke to me or about me, I absorbed and kept remembering all of them. I have no idea how I untangled the complicated process of words and thoughts, but it happened quickly and naturally. By the time I was two, all my memories had words and all my words had meaning, but only in my head. I have never spoken one single word. I am almost 11 years old. And that is the end of Out of My Mind. And I am truly amazed with this book. I think it's one of my favorites at this point. So some things that you could do um, now that we finish the story is, and I really like this idea, is writing a letter to the main character. You could even think about how she'd reply to you. Um, you could also pretend you're a talk show host and interview Melody. Um, you could write a news article about Melody or about what's happened to her. Um, you could always even record yourself, maybe 
acting out or dramatizing um, a scene from this um, from the story and you could get puppets involved or stuffed animals however you'd like to do that um, I'm trying to think what else oh you could write a letter to me or your principal or another teacher in your school or even a friend recommending this book if I was to do that I would talk about how strong of a character Melody is and I would also talk about what I learned from this story because I think there's great things that you can learn. Um, I think great things that even adults like myself can learn. There's some things that I never thought about. Um, so with that, um, I think I'm going to end it there. I'm going to look for another book to read with you guys. And I thank you so much for joining me. Have a great rest of the day, guys.